and welcome back to another Grow to Cycle tutorial video. It's actually been a really uh, quite a while since I've been here, but it's really nice to be back at uh, in the heart of the city, in the real, real downtown heart of the city, in Griffiths Gardens. And this is um, a garden that's run by um, it's called uh, For the Love of Bees Group, and they are a really um, passionate group of people who love to support the uh, needy. They've set up a really interesting um, Maori, um, like this, like a, a little Maori, almost not, not a fare, but it's like a, a, a place of peace and, and um, support for the people in the, in the uh, downtown area. They've got the community fridge here, which is really nice for sharing, but also they've got a, a, a couple of, of a small patches of, of veggies right, right, like I say, right in front of the uh, sky tower. So there's the sky tower there behind me. But yeah, I just wanted to also show you guys one of my favorite, favorite things. And the, the best things you can grow in a, a tiny, tiny space, um, which is fresh tea. Um, any, like, there's so many plants which make a really, really beautiful brew um, of tea. And there's a couple of plants here. And this is one that's probably my favorite, at least that I found so far. I believe it's pineapple sage. No, it might be lemon, lemon verbena, but I believe it's pineapple sage. Um, and let me show you. So there's this plant here, this, this bush. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well because of the light, but here. So this, this plant here, it's got a distinctive, it's got like a white fairy stem and these, these nicely beautiful um, kind of pointy leaves. And these, these leaves, you just put a couple of these in boiling water and you get this Beautiful, beautiful. It's just, it tastes, literally, it just tastes like fresh lemon tea. Now, if you put um, a little bit of ginger, that's like a lemon and ginger tea, but better than, than actually a lot of the, the um, old tea bags you get. Literally, if you guys, you guys, there's so many plants that you can forage and you can find to make tea. There's no need to buy tea bags if you know the right plants. They're all around you. Kawa Kawa makes a beautiful, beautiful peppery tea. This is one of the best things, um, the best tips and tricks um, for for properly, um, you know, having a more sustainable way of living is is fresh teas because, and I love I love tea. If anyone knows me, like I drink a lot of um, hot hot beverages, and um, yeah, so you never never need to buy tea bags if you know where to look. So kawa kawa, pineapple sage, lemon verbena. Um, Mint, peppermint, really, really easy to grow. All these things. Um, you can even use rosemary. Rosemary and jasmine and um, lavender. You know, you can pick lavender flowers and you can put them in tea. So there's lots and lots of beautiful things you can do to make um, fresh brew. Yeah, make sure you go, get out there and uh, try it yourself. See, try, try something that you've never done before. Maybe, um, find some, maybe find some peppermint or maybe find some, some lavender or even just some, some rosemary. Pick it, pick a bit. Put in some in some boiling water and see if it, if, it, if you like it. Give it a shot. And um, yeah, stay smiling and I'll catch you later.